All right, what is going on everyone? Rat Trench is back from our video and today we got some Mustang content for you. So this is gonna be the last time this car has stock gearing and the regular differential in the back. I'm gonna show you in a second. We got 3.73 Ford Performance gears and then a uh, Torsen T2 limited slip. So this thing's gonna be a monster. Let's check it out now. Been waiting a long time for this. The one guy I'm going to his shop, he's extremely busy, kind of like a small run shop. So I appreciate he's finally getting to me. But right over here we got a uh, the Ford Performance 3.73 gears. These things are gonna absolutely rip. A lot of people do the 410s, but I still drive it on the highway here and there, so I don't want to lose out on that top end power. And one day I'll be supercharged. And uh, here is the limited slip differential. I'll try and pull this out of the packaging for you guys. It's it's actually very heavy. It's like 20 or 25 pounds. It's like a dumbbell. It's just awkward too. Like. Yeah, it's extremely awkward, but here she is, Torsen. So this is a like a worm gear setup. There's no clutch plate, so this thing should last forever. It's gonna be an absolute ripper. I'm pretty pumped about that. And then here's just some miscellaneous, the bearing kit and all that. Um, everything the guy at the shop needs, some good royal purple, and uh, won't be needing this because, like I said, there's no clutch plates. But yeah, this is what's going in the old Mustang here. So we're super pumped and we're just kind of Gonna give you like a drive along and get some GoPro shots and the camera. And um, once we get to the shop, hopefully the guy's nice enough, we can talk to him a little bit and show you the shop. We'll see you there. All right, guys, we're gonna give you one of the last cold starts on this car because very, very soon, if you do not know already, I bought camshafts for this. Stage two comp cams will be going in this Mustang. It's gonna sound absolutely disgusting, but now, last cold start. Last drive with the stock here, and here we go. Man, I miss this car so much. Let's see if we can catch this light, it'll rip. Oh, here we go. Good, how you doing? Phil 93. All right guys, so we just filled up the shell, now we're heading to the shop. I just want to show and kind of tell you um, how the Mustang runs currently. Gotta get through that light. Um, I apologize for all the rattle, you know, for cheap plastic and the long tubes really rattle. This entire interior is sort of right below us and they're so large and powerful. And if you haven't seen that video, we installed long tube headers on this car. I believe last summer, uh, I'll link it up here right now in the screen so you can watch that if you're interested. It took like all weekend, but it's a hell of a lot better than the stock little intake manifold. Right now we're cruising at like 55 in fifth gear and we're at like 1450 RPM, so pretty low. Uh, with the new gears, I believe it spikes it a little bit, but I'm very curious to see. I don't know if the awesome works it, yeah. So like I was saying before, earlier in the video, the 4.10s are very, very common gears for this car because they produce a hell of a lot of torque and they're just so snappy. So that's why everyone likes them. Um, the 3.73s I would say are the next best option and the most popular. The I went with the Ford Performance that had a lot of good reviews. So, you know, Ford Performance is a well, well established brand. So I'm curious to see like highway speeds, acceleration. They do say the acceleration is greatly improved in the upper power band so i guess in this car probably like 4,000 to 5,000, and then up into redline redline's only 5800 rpm in this car pretty low it's got the 4.6 liter v8 in it so it's not the 5 out unfortunately but uh we are going to cam this thing and then uh hopefully one day put a blower on it so this thing's going to really move for what it is it's just such a fun car overall this is still third gear, we're going like 45. We're at 2700 RPM, 2800. We'll give it a little blip here. So that was third and fourth. Not too bad, I'm hoping for a good 
good good increase in torque honestly so here's another example this is pretty common i'll be in third gear going like 45 miles an hour and it's just over 2500 rpm so she's just ready to pounce whenever i hit that gas and we'll see what the 3.73s do and we'll go into fourth gear here cruising at like 45 45 miles an hour equivalents to 2000 rpm on the dot so that is with the stock gearing. I believe the stock gearing in this car is like 3.27 or something like that. It's, it's pretty low. So it's gonna add quite a bit with those four performance gears. Now we're going 50, again, just over 2,000. It's pretty low. Yeah, we made it to the highway. This is where the real fun's about to hit. Guys, we just dropped the, uh, the Mustang off. This oh. is a real tight area. Oh yeah, you might want to I'm back really forward. Yeah, it's a real tight, drive, you know? tight shop back here. Legit between train tracks, but we didn't want to really disturb him too much. We were just talking to him, getting some information. Um, oh man. God, this is gonna be brutal. No screen for Austin. No, I scraped a little bit there. It was just very yeah. slow and very subtle. subtle. Well, yeah, that pretty much concludes the right. video and uh, we're gonna see you guys in the next one. This thing will be transformed quite a bit. He's gonna have it done by tomorrow night, he said, or Saturday morning, the latest. So pretty damn excited and uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.